Bovine respiratory disease, or BRD, moves fast when it hits a dairy replacement heifer. Left untreated, BRD can rob a healthy calf of valuable lung tissue. This damage can be permanent, threatening the health and earning potential of the animal. The Breathe Easy BRD Detection and Treatment Kit is a step-by-step -step program that will improve early detection and treatment, helping you protect your animals and the future of your operation. Dr. Sheila McGurk and her colleagues at the University of Wisconsin-Madison were instrumental in helping Bear Animal Health develop the Breathe Easy BRD Detection and Treatment Kit. Hello, I'm Dr. Sheila McGurk, a professor at the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine. Bovine respiratory disease, also known as BRD in dairy replacement heifers, has a serious impact on the health of the animals and on your operation's bottom line. Recent work done at the University of Wisconsin School of Veterinary Medicine helped identify just how serious that impact is. The study showed us that BRD in dairy calves can start as early as two to three weeks of age and that if we leave it untreated, the lung damage BRD causes can be permanent. It can affect future milk production, reproductive performance, and even the lifespan of these young heifers entering our dairy herd. BRD contributes to over 20% of the pre-weaned calf deaths and over 50% of post-weaning heifer deaths. To help us identify, isolate, and treat BRD, we've developed a simple calf scoring system. The Breathe Easy BRD kit from Bayer Animal Health makes diagnosing and treating BRD a breeze. The Breathe Easy BRD Detection and Treatment Kit gives you the tools you need to help make identifying and treating BRD simple. And two of the most important tools are the booklet and calf respiratory health scoring charts. On the inside front cover of the booklet is a calf health scoring criteria chart that features descriptions and photographs of BRD symptoms, plus the numerical score assigned to each level of illness. The Calf Respiratory Health Scoring Chart is divided into columns that make recording and tallying the animal's scores easy. Side 1 is for scoring individual calves. Side 2 is used to score groups of calves in pens. Record keeping is vital to tracking the health and production of your animals. Accurate records allow you to track replacement heifers and the stockers they were purchased from, as well as tracking an individual animal's history. The scoring charts are perforated, so when a chart is complete, simply tear it out and place it in your file system for future reference. So let's get started. Initiate screening at two to three weeks of age and screen calves at least twice per week following these steps. Step 1. Record the calf's identification number and age in the appropriate columns on the calf respiratory health scoring chart. As you complete the screening process, do not enter the calf's pen unless you have to. A good time to score calves is between feeding when the calves are lying down. It takes very little time to score the eyes, the ears, and the nasal discharge of a quiet calf. Once that calf gets active, it may lick the nasal discharge, giving you a falsely low score. Step two, from outside the pen, Inspect the calf for these signs of BRD, nasal discharge, ocular discharge, ear score, and cough. Compare the calf's symptoms to those on the calf health scoring criteria reference card. Sometimes it's difficult to know whether an ear is dropped because of an ear tag. A calf that has a normal ear that's dropped because of an ear tag will raise the ear during its activity. A calf with an ear infection keeps that ear drop at all times, and will sometimes hold the head out, giving you further indication that there's pain. Step three, determine the total respiratory score to this point. If the calf has a score of four or lower, proceed to step number four. If the calf has a score of five or higher, treat with Batril 100 per veterinary and label instructions. When you're outside the calf pen, you can only assign a coughing score of two or three. As you're observing those calves and you hear a calf cough once, 
move to the pen, identify the calf, and assign a score of two. Should you hear a calf cough repeatedly, move to the pen, identify the calf, and assign a cough score of three. Step four, if a calf scores four or lower, enter the pen and score the calf's rectal temperature according to the calf health scoring criteria card. Next, try to induce cough by squeezing and shaking the calf's trachea. Record that score according to the CAF Health Scoring Criteria card. Step 5. Determine the total respiratory score to this point. A score of 3 or less is normal, and no immediate action need be taken. A CAF scoring 4 should be observed and rescreened within one week. A CAF scoring 5 or more needs to be treated immediately with Batro 100 following the veterinarian's direction and label instructions. After screening, scoring, and treating each calf, mark each individual pen with a pen marker or zip tie, as designated by your operation. Pen treatment markers should fit your farm and your calf pens. We've seen shower curtain rings, zip ties, ear tags, Velcro bands, and even colored clothespins used have a clear way of identifying when the treatment is completed, and have a second color or a second type of marker to indicate the second treatment or the third treatment protocols. Rescreen all treated calves three days after treatment. You should also complete a pre-weaning screen on all calves and screen all calves after weaning before moving to a group pen. If the calf scores a normal score of four or less at step seven, Treatment is done. Remove the pen marker or snip the tail off the zip tie marker. The BRD Detection and Treatment Kit also helps you assess groups of calves. Once weaned and combined into group pens, heifer calves are subject to a new set of BRD causing stressors, such as new surroundings, commingling, a change of feed, and sometimes shipping. Screening groups of calves at this stage is critical to their healthy development. When screening groups of calves at feeding time, pay particular attention to those calves that have pulled away from the feed early or those that never came up to the feed bunk. You may need to assess them once you get inside the pen and just before you get the rest of the group active. The scoring criteria for groups of calves are similar to that of individual calves. You first evaluate and score a group from outside the pen, looking for abnormal nasal discharge, ocular discharge, coughing, and drooping ears. Next, you move inside the pen. Creating movement among the calves will help you identify abnormal coughing. The difference between scoring individuals and groups of calves is in how you record the scores. For example, let's say you're evaluating a group of calves for nasal discharge. You count the number of calves with a nasal respiratory score of two or three and record that number in the appropriate column of the scoring chart. The goal in scoring a group is to determine if 25% of the group scores greater than a two in any given category. If the group scores a two or higher, it's time to determine, with your veterinarian, the best treatment protocol. Treating calves and heifers with BRD is very important. Always consult with your veterinarian to determine the best treatment protocol. A healthy dairy heifer is your future. Identifying and treating BRD is an important step to protecting the health and future milk production of your herd. And the Breathe Easy BRD kit from Bayer Animal Health makes it simple. For more information or to obtain a product label, talk to your veterinarian your Bayer sales representative, or visit Batril100.com. Federal law restricts this drug to use by or on the order of a licensed veterinarian. Extra label use of this drug in food producing animals is prohibited. Do not use in female dairy cattle 20 months of age or older. Use of enrofloxacin in this class of cattle may cause milk residues. Cattle intended for human consumption must not be slaughtered within 28 days from the last treatment. Do not use in calves to be processed for veal.